Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to look at making a 3D model blueprint. In this case, a gypsy styled scene. So to do this, I'm going to grab a graphic from psdgraphics.com, this blueprint background, and go to my menu here, 3D, new 3D layer from file. I'm going to grab, let's see, it's on my Dropbox. There we go, Gypsy 3DS. I'm not going to choose anything particular here. You have the option to choose centimeters, millimeters, pixels. In this case, I'm going to leave it at inches, maybe reduce the size there so it's something that makes sense. I'm going to say OK. So now I have my 3D model. This is just from off the internet. And you can see that there's something going on here. This doesn't look like the shadow is meeting the ground. And 3DS files, because they sometimes contain animation and sometimes don't, are problematic but there is a way to fix this very easily. As you can see, there's multiple geometries on this model, and I don't really need it to be broken up in all these different pieces, as you can see. So I'm going to simplify this by unifying it with, in the, within the 3D menu, Unify Scene for 3D Printing. Now what this is gonna do is gonna take all that geometry, all those 20, 30 pieces, and create one simple geometry. In addition, it's gonna simplify the UVs, so that I have one UV map. It's going to generate the UVs using what, you know, to keep it as close as possible. And there we go. So now you see that it is meeting the floor, the shadow, and the model. Um, they're all unified there. So now I have one mesh, which is completely easy to handle now. I love it. And I have one material to deal with, which is, we'll open it up real quickly. And you can see that it has all been processed with all the UVs on one map. Now, Let's get out of here and let's get back over here. Now, here is our model. I have my Gypsy 3D layer. Let's see, let's move this around here. Let's see, how do we want to position this? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this a little bit closer, switching to my slide the camera tool here. That's the tool here, open the options. And I also have tools down here, pan the 3D camera, orbit the model, and I can zoom in and out. Do, 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 do. In addition, I have this useful little widget here, universal widget, which, by the way, you can change the size by holding down shift and make it larger and make it smaller. Pretty nifty. Now, let's get back to business. What we want to do is select scene from the 3D panel, and we're going to go to presets. And these presets are render styles that can change the way the 3D mesh is illustrated on the canvas. I'm going to choose line illustration. So now that we have the line renderings, the line illustration, let's go ahead and change the layer here. So we're going to select this to screen mode. Boom. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's kind of where I want it right now. I'm going to go ahead and use this tool here and slide it a little bit closer. Move it over just a little bit. I kind of that's kind of where I want it. Now I can change the width of the lines. I'm gonna make these a little bit wider so you can see them. And the angle of the threshold, this is another parameter. You can choose to see all the lines of the geometry, or you can just kind of push them away to whatever it is that you like. We'll choose like a happy medium around here, maybe a little bit further, maybe about 17, 18, 20. 20 looks good. Now we're gonna change the background of this. I want it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit to, to pop out here. So to do that, I'm going to command or control click on the screen of this layer, layer right here, and it selects all the pixels on the screen there. So now I'm going to make another layer, but put it behind my 3D layer and just paint it with a color. I'm going to choose white in this case. Deselect, Command D or Control D will deselect these those little marching ants, get them out of there. And I'm going to change this layer mode to Overlay. It's one of my favorites. Who doesn't love a good overlay? And then bring this down to about 42%. And there you go. That's pretty much it. I mean, we're done. You could do a little bit more here. You can add some layer styles and other cool things. But this is all I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions. Please feel free to add comments and I will be reading them. Thank you for watching.